It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Los Angeles Rams. Coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. <laughs> you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? we go from SoFi Stadium. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The commander's set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. And he left North Carolina with most of his school's records, and at one point was thought to be maybe the number one quarterback in his draft class. He does bring deceptive athleticism and plenty of upside to the table. Add some consistency, and maybe he can really unlock what he can be in the NFL. Now Hal, middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now the second year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Now he's loose at the 40. They'll get this up to the 34 and a good lane opening up right away for it. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with it or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well and it turned into a nice play. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here and you have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second and 10, Howell. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. 
And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Powell. His throw incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Now Hal. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I haven't seen Morgan trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And the Commanders get out to a 3-0 lead. Well, they didn't get in the end zone, but pretty good balance there on the opening drive between the run and the pass. Yeah, I think that that was probably what they wanted to get accomplished right out of the gate. Throw the ball with success, run it, of course, to set the tone. So if we saw the offensive coordinator's play sheet, probably wrote himself a little note. Exactly what we wanted to do. Probed it early and got it done. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense, and they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to sell out production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there, and he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Williams going to get it again on second down. There he goes left side. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A good pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he had great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. On second down, Williams. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. Third down and 13. Here's Stafford. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39. And obviously, that's well short of the first. 
Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Crowder now to return. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They start on the ground with Robinson here, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and eight. Here's Hal. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. First and 10, it's Robinson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and seven. And Howe will throw it. And his throw is incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Back to throw, Howell. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Thirty-nine yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Rams will go on offense here with the first and ten. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt, and now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback, are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Stafford's throw here, hauled in by Cup. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Stafford on first down. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Oh, 
Now a second and two. Here's Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll get this down to the 40. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. On first and ten, Stafford. He's got room at the 30. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Defensively going forward, they're going to have to watch out for him on plays just like that. It's a drag route across the field, and they're trying to free him up and let him run after the catch. That won't be the last time we see that play, and it works there to pick up a first down. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And that one too wide and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. From the 21, it's second and 10. To the air again, Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. and take a first quarter lead. Well, in that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. Washington ready to try again on offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. Run coverage, excellent there from the defensive end position. How many times do we sit with coaches and they talk about a base defensive end, a guy who can anchor and play with leverage? We just saw a great example of it. And how about the bonus, tackling the runner for a loss? Howell's will complete there to Thomas. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. 
Someone's looking fresh, and this O line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Ball on the 47 yard line. Here's second down and a yard. For the play fake, and now here's Hal to throw it. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 30. After one, 7 3 the score on EA Sports. And Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Al, he'll look to throw it. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, and it's second down. Throwing here, Howell. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their play ball and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Another throw for Howell. It's open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. He made his first. This from 47 yards out. Sly able to put this one through. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So the margin shrinks a bit as back-to-back -back drives here for him and with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the simple, guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. And we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Off of play action, here's Stafford. That is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. That'll give him eight that time. And they'll be facing a third and 12. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Stafford. And it is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big gain of 31. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps, and delivers a big play here for this offense. So 
So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now it's Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again, it's Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. They find some open field here. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 34-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Now a first down throw, Stafford. Got a man, it's Higby complete. Touchdown! Tyler Higby, 23 yards for the touchdown. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And here we go on the next drive for Washington. And they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday they press it a little bit. This might be the case. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front, and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On the counter, this is Robinson. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. Now a second and six. Now Hal. That's complete to his receiver, McCall. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 39. 12 yards there as they move the chains.
So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Robinson up the middle. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and 10 now from the 27. Powell. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. or 14 before he's out of bounds back-to-back -back receptions for him and it's another first down third and four he did just enough and I mean just enough to move the chains and that's all you're looking for right just want to keep the drive moving you don't need the big play there just get to that marker that you described and he was able to do just that and he couldn't quite get there tackled down at the one a solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. He finds his way into the secondary again on this drive. They might want to try getting him down a little closer to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, what do they call that? Third level run, first level being the D line, and linebacker second level in the secondary, the third. When you block it up well, you make the second. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., punching it in from a yard away. And the Commanders have cut the lead back down to two. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and the lead is cut to one at 14-13. Joey slide out a kick off after the touchdown. And this take it in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Ball on the 27. Here's second and a couple. Now a play fake it at Stafford. To the right side and complete to Atwell. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. 
As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The Rams on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Not the result they were looking for there on third down. They end up taking a loss on the play. The only person happy now, the punter, gets to go out there and show mom that he gets to play in the game. Ethan Evans on now to punt. Now it's Crowder. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. So a six-carry drive, the last go-around touchdown on the end of it. We'll see if they can duplicate that here. I think that they would like to. I know every runner that we've ever met would love to carry the ball more and more and more. In fact, we keep a ball in the booth just for demonstration purposes. You're holding it right now. I'm going to give it to you. Is it, is it heavy? Is it that heavy? No, it's pretty light. It's pretty light, right? So keep giving it to him and let him do his work. <laughs> it's not going to slow him down. If it's light for me, it's definitely light for him. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Third down and one. Robinson toss play left side. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Stafford on first down. Open man right side is cup complete. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that will bring up second down. to throw Stafford he gets this into the hands of Cup once again and Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he's brought down at the 25 yard line now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime First down, Stafford here. Short throw, it's Higby, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. 
They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. To the air again, Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as he'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. Stafford. He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson. A big play there just before halftime. And even 50 yards. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football, something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a vintage first half from the veteran Matthew Stafford. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. going to get the football first here and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line out come the Rams they'll have it first here to begin the third quarter this offense set to begin the third quarter and Charles if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead and they've got that here that's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Stafford now to throw. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And Higby going to have a Rams first down as he gets this up past the 40. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. On first and 10, Stafford. 
Throw left side, complete to come. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Up the middle, it's Williams. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. From the gun on third down, Stafford. Open man, that's Puka. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And he's gonna be stopped at about the 37. 52 yards rushing for him now to this point. So from the 37, here's second and three. Off of play action, here's Stafford. That's caught, it's 2-2 Atwell. And they're gonna have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 19. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. This one to the left to Higby. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now it's second and 10. Here's Stafford. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Allen. Five yards, now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here is third and five. Again, it's Stafford. Work in the middle of the field. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. You'd hate to come all this way on a sustained drive like this and then have to settle for a field goal. So what a nice pickup on third down. And now they're set up with first and goal. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And the catch made by Hopkins. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. That's complete once again to Hopkins. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. And it's intercepted at the goal line. 
And the Commanders are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And their defense did its job, forcing the takeaway there to start the half. And now can the offense follow suit? And you'd better believe that one side of the ball feeds off the work of the other. So they'll want to come out, establish some rhythm, and go down and take the lead. Out of bounds at the 26-yard line. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Throwing here, Howell. Throws the out loud and completes it to Samuel. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. from the gun short throw to the tight end Thomas and a nice job to break free of one tackle but it slowed his momentum somewhat and he's taken down right after second and five On the give, here's Robinson. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. 15 yards to pick up, first down Washington. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Now they're going to motion dots into the left. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. And McClure in the motion man right. Oh, here's a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Robinson. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 109 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. On first down, Hal. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That one was thrown into the end zone, and when they made a play on the ball, it was actually tipped up in the air, and that's not ideal for anyone on defense because what you're ordinarily taught is to knock the ball down towards the ground, almost like a volleyball player coming over the top and spiking it to make sure that the offensive guys can't catch it on the rebound. Second down and a run by Robinson. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position. The guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. Hal throwing on third down here. Looking and finding Thomas in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas from 17 yards out. And the Commanders have taken the lead here in this third quarter. So a very strong first drive in this second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to walk it away. A good pick up there, 22. Big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Off the draw, here's Williams. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. They work now on second and nine. Play action, Stafford. Open man is Atwell, complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And six DBs on the field for Washington on third down. Throwing is Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, he has been the featured receiver on this drive. They've looked his way a number of times. Why not get it to him on third down? And they do. And they're able to keep this drive moving. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. On the counter, here's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They run it again with Williams. 58 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So third down and a field goal from here would be right about 50 yards as they try to get closer. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of, and in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of, trying to engineer a fourth-quarter comeback, and he hits a big one right there. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Williams. Pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. Williams again. And he will again go backwards as they drive him back to the four-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point of the game. Now Stafford on third and goal. 
He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown Rams. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Rams answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown at the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Extra point right down the middle, and that will make this a four-point game. Kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Washington offense set to take over. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. First down, how to throw. And that is caught downfield by Thomas. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards, the final tally. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, Tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Jahan Dotson was the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. It's Howell. Throw right side complete to Dodson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Howell looking to throw again. Complete the contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback, they were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They begin the drive with Williams. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pin them deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt, and if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. So free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. And take it right on the 30. Set to go again. Here's Brian Robinson, the commander offense. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means... Now Robinson cuts up the football. It's loose. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big. 
big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Al throw complete to Dotson. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. to throw it he's got his target that's complete and he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion and that's well executed there on third down and i love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision and qbs love to make that easy throw and they hooked up there for a first down Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he loses the football a second time. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Do you remember in preseason when we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. Now the Rams' offense getting the football back. They'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead, but whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. A give left side to Robinson. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. If they get nothing else here on third down, it'd be a 53-yard attempt from this spot. They'll run with Gibson. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 21, here's second down and two. Al now to throw it. Going right back to Dodson. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Back to throw. Howell. Looking and finding Thomas in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders have taken a fourth quarter lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and the lead is up to five.
Joey Sly, Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. On first and 10, Stafford. His throw incomplete. A good play on the ball, getting a hand on it, but it was tipped up in the air before falling incomplete. And that leads to way too many moments where bad things can happen for a defense and good things can happen for an offense. And this is tough to teach in today's football because everyone wants to make a highlight play. Tip it up in the air, grab it yourself, take it the other way, but sometimes that can backfire. How do you teach these guys to just make the good, solid, fundamental play of knocking it to the ground and not trying to make a highlight real play that could backfire. And that's when it's fun to play defense, when you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play. That's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's gonna have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's we've got a member of the Rams shaking up on that last play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here's Stafford. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Second and ten. Again, it's Stafford. They'll get this one complete to Atwell. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the V-feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got B-feeders licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. And he is going to have the Rams first down as he gets a little more than he needed. Four yards to pick up there on fourth and two. Fourth and two, they got it. That was kind of that gray area. Is that a feel thing, whether you go run or pass there offensively? I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. Got to make a decision, and they made the correct one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Here's Stafford now on second down. To the right side, complete to Atwell. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 22-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. 
Here's first and ten. To throw is Stafford. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down. First and 10. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. This is first and 10. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Not good. They didn't move the football an inch, and precious time ticking off the clock. Once more from the 11, second and 10. A give to Williams, running right. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Here now, third down. Now it's Stafford. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. 2-2 Two -two Atwell with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams are able to move back in front. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Now Stafford, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air now it's Crowder now it's Crowder and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 so here we go now with Hal and the commanders down by a field goal exactly one minute remaining Hal to throw now they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and ten and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Here's second and a yard. Here's Howell. He's got McClellan. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Back to throw. point in the game. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. 
He'll look to throw. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Nice solid game there, partner, but the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Powell with one final shot. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. 